Welcome to this afternoon session on reimagining customer service for a digital world. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Gabriel. I'm the product manager that looks after our customer service efforts here in Jira Service Management. And I'm Andrea. I am lucky enough to lead the amazing engineering teams that built some of the features you'll see today. At Atlassian, we've spent the last several years building high velocity service management that brings together development and IT teams. Teams love that they can collaborate on a single platform without silos and that they can balance getting to value fast with advanced workflows and automations that scale with them. Today, we're going to talk about the next step in that journey, customer service. So many of you have told us that you look to Jira Service Management to provide exceptional customer service experiences and that you'd like to see even more from us there. So we asked ourselves, what would it look like if we extended the connectedness between development and IT all the way through to customer service? And that's what we're going to share with you today. But before we jump into that, let's chat a little bit about what exceptional customer service actually looks like. I was talking to Gabe about this a little while ago, and we realized that a lot of the service or support experiences we have are largely unremarkable. You call the bank, you chat to your internet provider, there's nothing really special about it. But every now and again, you have an experience that really sticks with you. Sometimes that's because it's a really great service experience. Sometimes it's not so great. Uh, but I was fortunate enough to have a pretty great service experience a little while ago with an app called Duolingo. Uh, has anyone else here been learning a language or used Duolingo before? Yes, yeah, it's a great app. I love it a lot. Uh, and I've been trying to learn uh, Brazilian Portuguese on the app for a little while. And actually, uh, I can tell you exactly how long I have been trying to learn Portuguese for, or learning Portuguese for. So it has been 628 days, uh, which I know because I am mildly addicted to keeping my streak in the app. Um, for those who don't use the app, it's just the number of consecutive days that you have logged into the app and learned your language. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I logged into the app, and my streak was zero. Zero days, zero activity, it was actually like I had never used the app at all. And even though it's kind of silly, it kind of upset me because this is something that's kind of, it's important to me. So thankfully being someone who works in software, I was, you know, maybe it's just a bug. So I took a couple of screenshots from the app. I went and raised a bug report with Duolingo. I wasn't really hopeful. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen out of it, but I thought I'd give it a go. And it was actually really lovely. I got a message back from the Duolingo support team pretty quickly. They were actually very empathetic. They understood that this silly little streak thing was important. And they assured me they were looking into it. They were going to find what was going wrong. And when I logged in later that day to continue my study, my streak was restored. And obviously, I continued to be a loyal user of the app. Uh, and that was a really great experience. I'm sure some of you have had experiences like that, or maybe you've had memorable experiences for other reasons. But I think that exceptional customer service can be a really impactful thing. And that's why I'm excited to be here with Gabe, talking to you a bit about how you can help your customers achieve that, and how Jira Service Management can help with that. So today we're going to talk through a few things. We'll start by seeing why digital-first companies, particularly, are choosing Jira Service Management when expanding into customer service. Then we'll talk through some of the key in-product experiences that help you deliver collaborative and seamless support. And we'll also show you how easy it is to set those up. And we have a guide that you can take back to your teams. Finally, we'll talk about the future of connected customer service. And we'll see some of the magic that happens when your teams and your uh, come together to really collaborate around the customer. We're going to wrap all of that up with a Q&A at the end. So please, if you have any questions, uh, take note of them and ask us at the end. But to get us started, I'm going to leave you with Gabe, who's going to talk about why connected customer service is such a key part of Digital First Company's IT strategies. Thanks, Andy. As companies realize that value delivery starts and ends with the customer, they're prioritizing connected service solutions that bring together the entire service journey. It's clear why. When customers have exceptional value-adding support experiences, they're more likely to spend more money, be retained, and share positive word of mouth. And when all of your teams are united in providing connected service experiences, it's much easier to do this even in the complexity of digital technology. 
That's where the Atlassian platform comes in, connecting every team involved in service. In fact, one in four customers today are using Jira Service Management to provide external support. If that is you, that's fantastic. You're part of a growing wave of people who are truly putting the customer at the center of service. Now, we often find that our customers put it better than we ever could. And that's the case here, where the COO of global IT specialist Avato Systems articulated it beautifully when he talked about the importance of this to his company and the journey that they're going on from IT service all the way to customer service. And companies that have already been on this journey are already seeing the benefits. Iris are a global fintech who moved over to Jira Service Management to service more than half a million customers through the Help Center. They have loved having all of their teams on a single platform and they've seen improvements in self-serve rates, time to resolution, and development team and customer support team collaboration since moving over. Iris customers get help through the Brandable Help Center, and as they type, knowledge-based suggestions deflect up to 20% of all requests by providing instant self-service help. When requests do need to be created, that work is moved quickly through Iris's technical and customer support teams by custom set up workflows and automations to make sure that those requests are resolved quickly and efficiently every single time. Now, Iris have both their customer support teams and their IT teams in Jira Service Management. So they're generating a lot of data. And they've set up dashboards and reporting to help them make sense of it all so that they can work smarter and better allocate their resources. And that data isn't just limited to customer service either. With operations data, they can see where they are experiencing the most incidents and how those incidents are affecting their support loads. Iris are a fantastic example of why companies are choosing to bring their customer service teams into Jira Service Management. They're able to reach the customers where they are for convenient support within channels including the in-product widget, the customizable help center, email, and more. As we all know, the Atlassian platform already connects development and operations teams, and now that includes support as well, as we saw in the keynote this morning. That means that no matter what your customers ask for, you can bring the right people together to resolve requests. Feature requests can go to product managers, bugs can go to the right development squads, and incidents go to operations teams. And everyone has shared context into both the customer and work happening across research and development. And with the out-of-the-box customer service template, it's so easy to get started and get to value fast. But as we saw with Iris, for example, advanced features like workflows and automation mean that Jira service management scales as you do. And with our rich marketplace add-ons and powerful APIs, you can customize every element of the Jira service management experience to match your exact needs. So we can start to see the power of connected customer service in a digital world. To make this concrete, I'm going to pass it over to Andy, who's going to talk you through what a customer support experience looks like in Jira service management. Awesome. Thank you, Gabe. Now, to show you the power of Jira service management in action, we're going to walk through a real example of an issue flowing from our customer, Omar, through to uh, Jane in development, uh, sorry, Jane in support, and then Fran in development. Now, as we look through this journey, what we're really going to focus on is how these three people work together for a convenient, seamless, and collaborative support experience. The customer is at the heart of everything we do. So we're going to start our journey today with Omar. Omar works for Silverline, which is a client services company who use Paywise, a Bankly product, for their banking. Now, while on site with a client, Omar experiences an issue with making an international transfer while using Paywise's mobile app. Omar begins getting help directly from within the app. He can raise a support request without having to change context, thanks to the custom integrated help experience that Bankly has built on top of JSM's APIs. Now, in this case, Omar isn't quite sure if it's maybe something he's doing wrong or if he could self-serve this. So he's going to go and get some more information first. He moves to his laptop and heads to Bankly's one-stop support center, where he's already logged in with his Silverline account. Now, after browsing some topics and articles, he hasn't really found what he was looking for. 
So he decides to go ahead and raise a support request. He can quickly locate the right place to get support, and he goes ahead with raising a bug report. Now, within the form, he is shown a list of Bankly's products, and he can easily select Paywise as the product that he needs help with. Once Paywise is selected as the product, the form dynamically changes so that Omar can select exactly where in the product he experienced an issue, in this case, with transfers. Along with the structured information, he can provide a summary and description, as well as any screenshots or recordings. In just a few short steps, Omar was able to get convenient support through both an integrated in-product experience and from Bank Bankley's branded help center. He quickly provided the context that's needed for the support team through a tailored form that was structured and easy to use. Now, speaking of the support team, Let's see how our support agent, Jane, receives Omar's request and collaborates with Fran, our developer, to get it resolved quickly without the silos that so often separate these teams. Now, since Omar is in lovely sunny Sydney, his request appears alongside other APAC customers in a region-specific queue. This is where it can be quickly picked up by Jane from the local support team. As Jane looks at the queue, she can quickly see that Omar's issue is important because of the short SLA that it has. Now, in Bankly, this usually means that the customer or their organization is a gold status customer. And those are the highest tier of customers, so they get priority support. Now, Jane assigns herself to the issue and dives in to get a bit more information. Looking at the issue summary and description, it seems pretty likely that Jane is going to need to involve the development team to figure out what's going on here. But at a glance, Jane can see some information about the customer. For example, she can see that Omar is an executive and that Silverline is a gold status customer, which explains the short SLA. Now, Jane really wants to make sure this is a great experience for Omar. So she goes to check if there's anything else that she should know about him before taking action. Looking at the full customer profile, Jane can see additional context about Omar as a customer. She can see that he's raised some requests before with the support team, although there's nothing there that looks like the current issue he's experiencing. She also sees a note from her coworker, Crystal, about an important new product deal that Bankly is trying to close with Omar. With this information, Jane goes back to the original issue and decides to escalate it to the development team. With a single click, Jane is able to create a new developer escalation. Here, she adds context on what she's already tried, what she knows about the problem, and what she needs help with from the developer team. She can also mark the issue as highest priority, so the development team also knows how important this is. She selects transfers as the affected service based on the description and the option that Omar selected in the form. So this makes sure it ends up with the right team. The original support case is also linked for additional context. Once created, the escalated case appears in this dedicated home where developers can view all the support issues that require their attention directly from within JIRA. And this view is open to collaborators, so developers don't need an agent license to see it. Now, Fran is one of the developers who operates the transfer service. When she comes into this developer escalations view, she can easily filter the list to see just the issues related to the service that need her attention. But when an urgent case comes up like this, it's important for Fran and her team to know as quickly as possible. And so that's why, using automation, Fran's team gets notified in Slack the moment an escalated case is created. This is also a great place for Fran and her team to talk about the issue together before they jump in to resolve it. Now, in this case, after a little bit of discussion, Fran's team finds that there is a bug, so they raise that in Jira software, and they link it to the escalated case. Thankfully, the team has also identified a workaround, so they add that in a comment and update the support agent, Jane. Back on the original support request, Jane can take this information and very easily respond to Omar. She can use Atlassian intelligence as a handy assistant to also ensure that this message has exactly the right tone for an important customer like Omar. 
And with that, she lets Omar know that a resolution is on its way and how he can move forward with his transfer. So instead of spending days trying to coordinate teams who use different tools, Omar's issue was very easily resolved in just a few hours, thanks to the seamless collaboration between Jane and Fran. So now we've seen that it's quite convenient for Omar to get support, and it's quite easy for Jane and Fran to work together. But of course, all of this setup doesn't just happen. So there's one more important person we need to talk about today. And that is, of course, our admins. Uh, admins empower others to deliver exceptional service by setting up these experiences. Now, if you're an admin, we're going to show now just how easily you can set up these great end-to-end -end experiences that we've just seen in Jira Service Management. If you are starting fresh with a new project, it is as easy as selecting the customer service template to get all of these key features enabled and configured out of the box. But don't worry, you can also do this in existing projects by enabling the customer service management and developer escalations features in project settings to get all the same capabilities. Now, once as an admin like Adam, you have your project, customize the look and feel of the help center to match your branding, in this case, like Bankly's, uh, and set up some topics so it's easy for people to find those frequently used uh, or related requests. The next step for Adam is to bring the important context about Omar, Silverline, and all other Bankly customers and organizations into Jira. To do that, he decides which details he wants to see on those profiles uh, and configures the label, the type, and also the order in which they appear. Next, Adam can do a quick initial import using a CSV file just to make sure everything looks right. And then when he's happy, he can set up an ongoing sync of Bankly's uh, data from their CRM using Wakato and our customer management APIs. Once imported, Adam uses the details to create region-specific queues for timely support, as well as those custom SLAs for the gold status customers. Now, in new projects, developer escalations are configured out of the box with new issue and request types, so you can get started straight away. In an existing project, or if you wanted to have multiple types of escalation, uh, Adam can easily add a suitable request type using the Git developer support request template. Finally, to ensure that easy collaboration, Adam adds all his developers to the customer service project team using a group. Once they're in the service desk team, collaborators can work directly with customer service agents without needing licenses. And there you have it. Getting the basics of end-to-end -end service set up is easy in both new and existing projects. And of course, as your support team grows and scales, you can continue to customize and extend this setup with workflows, automations, and other advanced features. And do not worry if you didn't catch all of that. Uh, all of this and more is featured in our Service Management for Customer Support Teams guide, which is available from the QR code. And we will show that code again at the end for you. Now, while Service Management in Jira today already offers a lot for your teams, there is more to come. And for that, I will pass you back to Gabe to give you a peek into the future of connected customer service. Thank you, Andy. This is my favorite part. But first of all, I am very excited to announce that all of the customer service features that you've seen here today, including customer and organization profiles and developer escalations, are now available in all editions of Jira Service Management. Developer escalations are new to all of our customers, but our premium and enterprise users have already been loving having rich customer context at the heart of Jira Service Management. And we're so excited to be bringing this to all of our users. All premium and enterprise customers have this already today. And starting from today, we'll be rolling out to free and standard. Now, if you are on standard and want priority access, please come and find us or get in touch, and we can uh, help you out and get you prioritized there. Now, we started this session by talking about extending the connectivity between development and IT all the way through to customer service. This is an exciting vision and one that truly puts the customer at the center of your business. We want to paint a brief picture of what this could look like into the future. In a connected service world, every single team has the same context about your customer and about work happening across research and development. 
so you can come together to effectively prioritize and resolve requests. And leadership, development, operations, and support teams can make decisions informed directly by what your customers do, ask for, and need the most. Customer centricity is not something that you have to fight for. It's built into your teams, your tools, and the ways that you work. In this world, customers are connected to all of the objects that make up your world. So for example, that includes all of the products that they have entitlements to, which are in turn connected to all of the services that power them. When an incident happens on one of those services, they can be alerted proactively, so they don't even need to ask for support. And when a request comes in, you can route that request to exactly the right team that owns that particular product, regardless of whether they're in development, operations, or support. They're also connected to all of the objects in your CMDB. So for example, you can connect them to your contracts, your service offerings, or anything else that matters to you. Now, because your customers are connected to all of the objects that make up your world, they're automatically brought into the heart of research and development. You know how many users depend on each of your services, so you can project the impact of outages or incidents for more effective triage. You know where particular feature requests are coming from, so you can easily answer questions like, what features are my gold customers asking for? Or what do particular regions or industries need the most from me? And because every team has shared visibility, you're all speaking the same language. When leadership teams write a strategy that identify your most important customers, that can be reflected in your goals, in your roadmaps, and in incident and bug prioritization to resolve the things that are the most concerning for those particular customers. And when you look at a customer's profile, you see all of the work happening across your business that relates to them. That includes everything from portfolio allocation and executive planning, all the way through to roadmaps, delivery, operations, and of course, support. Customers will feel this directly. They get support that is personalized to the products that they actually use, even including their specific entitlements, such as their support tiers or contract start and end dates. And that support can be proactive in the form of service outages, so they don't even need to raise requests, and they're always up to date with any changes that might impact them. They can even follow the progress of any features that they have requested, or come together to vote on the features that matter most to them. Now, this is a win-win, because your customers get to feel heard, and at the same time, you get direct insight into how to best help them. And that is connected customer service management. It reaches across your business, from your customers, through to support, operations, development, and leadership, orienting everyone around the thing that matters most, creating great customer outcomes. So, looking back, today, we've seen how digital-first companies are prioritizing connected customer service as part of their IT strategies, and heard from Iris about what that's looked like for them. We've also seen that bringing development, operations, and support together on a single platform creates that connected service management and the experiences that that powers in Jira service management. Meeting customers today, meeting customers where they are, sorry, with support channels that are as close, as them to, as close to them as possible, including in product and the customizable help center, collaborative experiences that give agents the customer context they need and help teams collaborate to resolve requests, and how easy it is to get started with Jira service management using the out-of-the-box template so that you can get started quickly, get to value fast, and let your system scale as you do. And finally, we've also announced that these customer service management features are now available across all of our editions, which we are so excited about after the excellent feedback that we've got from our premium and enterprise customers. We've also talked about the future of connected customer service and seen that when you can bring customers into the heart of research and development and bring teams together to collaborate to create great support experiences, you unlock amazing experiences. And that is connected customer service for a digital world.